Hello, my most amazing artist. Today is the very last day of our Crystal Clusters project. You guys have done such an amazing job so far. You should really be proud of yourself for how hard you have worked and how creative you've been throughout this project. So the last step is pretty simple and hopefully it won't take you too long this week, but we are going to cut out our crystal clusters and glue them onto our background, okay? So last time you should have created your background, whether you use the technique that I did with markers or if you just colored it using colored pencils or crayons, whatever you had. Okay, so you should have done that. And we should have our drawing using line and value to create form. Okay, so what we need to do is cut our crystals out and glue them onto our background and we will be done. Okay, so there's a couple of things I would like to go over um, about cutting and gluing. Okay, as an artist, it's very important to take your time and consider craftsmanship. Craftsmanship is when an artist really wants their artwork to be nice and neat and so it doesn't look like you rushed it and you didn't really care about it. Okay, so we need to use craftsmanship while cutting and gluing today. Okay, you guys have worked really hard on your drawings and I really don't want us to mess it up while cutting because we were being careless or we were rushing, whatever the case may be. Okay, so I'm going to really take my time while I'm cutting today because I it took me a really long time to do this drawing, so I want to take care of it, okay? The best way to take care of it is to take your time while working on your art, okay? So with my right hand, I have my scissors because I'm right-handed. If you're left-handed, then your scissors will go in your left hand. Whichever hand is not holding your scissors is your lazy hand, okay? It's not doing anything. This hand is cut in and it's doing all the hard work, so we need to give our lazy hand a job, okay? Our lazy hand is going to be holding our drawing and it's going to rotate our paper with our scissors, okay? Let me show you what that looks like. So all this hand is doing is opening and closing our scissors. It's not moving around because one, it's really dangerous to cut this way, like at yourself, and it's also dangerous to cut at somebody else, okay? So by keeping our scissors in the same place while we're cutting, one, it helps us cut easier, it's less dangerous, and it makes it really reassures us that our artwork is going to stay nice and neat, okay? So this will be pretty easy to cut out because we used all straight lines, all right? So I just made one cut here really slowly, and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that piece off, okay? Because I don't need it anymore. Now, did you see how I rotated my paper around? I am going to cut at an angle here and my scissors are going to stay in the same place, but my paper is going to rotate depending on where my scissors need to go, okay? And I'm doing a smaller cuts just to be safe. I'm gonna go off the page. And as you can see, those cuts look really nice because I am taking my time and not rushing, all right? So my scissors are just opening and closing, but this hand, my lazy hand here, has a job now and his job is to rotate my paper depending on where my scissors need to go okay so i am going to finish cutting out my crystals using scissor safety and taking my time to make sure that i don't accidentally cut into my crystals i am just cutting around the outer edge okay and cutting off the extra paper I don't need. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this and then I will come right back to show you how to glue your crystals onto your background. All right, so I have finished cutting out my crystals and as you can see, I really took my time because my lines are nice and straight and I didn't accidentally cut off one of my crystals. So please make sure that you really take your time while cutting, okay? We've worked really hard on this project so far. We don't wanna accidentally mess it up right on the last step. Okay, so depending on your crystals, I know some of us drew crystals down here, so your crystals might be floating on your background, but as you can see, mine has a straight line down here, so I'm going to line up the bottom of my crystals with the bottom of my background, and that is where my crystals will go. It might look a little strange if I glue my crystals up here, and then it just has a straight line, so it looks like it's been cut off awkwardly, so I want to line up those edges to make it look natural and like uh, my crystals are supposed to be growing from the bottom of this paper. I need to decide if I want my paper like this or if I prefer it 
switched around like this. Mm, let's see, this one has more yellow at the top. Do I want more yellow or do I want more red? Let me see one more time. This is something you need to decide as well as which part of your background do you want to show more? And I think I'm gonna go with this way to have more reds and oranges at the top instead of the other one. So go ahead and decide that. And after you decide where you want your crystals to go, we are going to glue, okay? Now with gluing, it is probably a good idea to have like a scrap piece of paper underneath what you're gluing, just so you don't get glue all over your table, okay? And today I'm going to use a glue stick, but you can use a glue bottle. Um, if you don't have any kind of glue at all, you can just tape your crystals to your background. It all depends on what you have at your house, okay? But today I am going to use a glue stick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my crystals and flip them over upside down. And you can see where I was practicing my value there. I'm going to open up my glue stick, just um, roll it up oh, just a little bit. We don't need a lot. And the best way to glue is to always go around the outer edge first, okay? When we glue it down, like I said, we want to use the best craftsmanship. And whenever we glue it, if there's a bunch of edges coming up, it doesn't look as neat as it could, okay? So going back to craftsmanship, we need to take our time and really make sure all those edges are glued down so it doesn't look like we rushed or we didn't really care about our artwork, okay? So use good craftsmanship and I am going around the outer edge of my crystal just so I can make sure that all the edges are glued down. Now I might put just a little bit here and there in the middle, but I do not need to cover this entire thing in glue, okay? It will glue if you just do all the edges, all right? Don't waste your glue and cover the whole back side of your crystals with glue because that's a waste and we don't need that much, all right? After you're done with your glue stick, make sure you put the cap back on so it doesn't dry out. And I am going to carefully place my crystals lining up the bottom edge of my crystals with the bottom edge of my background and I am going to start massaging it down or pressing it down to make sure all of those edges are glued okay if all of your edges aren't glued down you'll notice they'll start to come up a little bit and in that case you can just take a little bit more glue lift up whatever edge needs more glue and press it back down again when your crystals are glued all the way down, you might want to do the wiggle test. That is where you flip your paper upside down and you wiggle it a little bit. And I noticed one of these crystals came up. So that tells me there needs to be a little bit more glue there. So I'm just going to go around the edges again to make sure everything is glued down nice and secure. Okay. After you cut out your crystals and you glue them down all the way, you will be done, okay? I hope you guys really have fun doing this project. What I've seen so far is you guys have amazing drawing skills. Like I am so impressed with what you've done so far and I can't wait to see your finished products. And next time we will actually start a new project. So I hope you guys really had fun and learned a lot about lines and shapes and value and form, all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, can't wait to see your finished products and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.